In terms of photography, and especially expedition photography, we have an amazing tradition um, of craft. You know, images by sort of Herbert Ponting on Scott's expedition, the, the dedication to detail and the dedication to um, mastery. Of, of, of their craft is, is, is really quite something. People can turn photography into their craft by doing it. There's no other way. I've done it by going out there, taking pictures, talking to people, and getting the stuff out there, making it something you enjoy, you love, and you want to create things from. Experimenting, doing, failing, succeeding, that's the way you make it into your craft. Shooting in London is unique. It's, it, it's, it's, it's the most vibrant, uh, fast-moving city in the world. It's so much going on that you can shoot the same place on, a, on, the, same, on the same day and find different things there. Shooting on an expedition, everything's new. Shooting in Britain is that lovely juxtaposition of the familiar with the complete oddities, eccentricities, and you know, pleasurable sort of serendipitous experiences. Ooh, the future of British photography. I think experimentation and seeing what you can do with, with film, with digital, moving photography away from what traditional, uh, where we traditionally think of things and, and experimenting what you can do, whether it's, whether it's the stuff that, that the guys at Lomography are doing or using animation with photography or manipulating digitally. I think it's experimentation as we're moving forward. I think we're at a great stage at the moment where we have digital, we have analogue, we have people pretending that this, they're one and the same thing with Instagram and various other bits and bobs. And I think there's an amazing diversity for people to pick the camera and the style that really suits what they're trying to capture and take that out into the world and deliver us great imagery.